Hey guys, this is Cutie Pie 88 Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to come to you all and show you this deep wave wig I got from Sunbur Hair. They are an Amazon seller. It came with a wig cap and of course the lashes. Now I did want to show you all that I did bleach the knots on this unit. I'm just pointing out to be sure that you get the bleach um, on the hairline but not past the hairline. You don't want to go past the hairline because it'll, it'll make the additional um, lace that bronze color. So you want to just stop right there where the hair stops. So the knots bleached very well. I did leave it on for too long because I forgot about the bleach. So it did over process the knots, but you can always go in with some temporary or permanent hair color to kind of fill in those bronzy spots. But yeah, here is, uh, I'm just plucking it. I'm not an expert with plucking you guys, but you do wanna pluck this unit. Just showing you all the hairline. The lace is super, super light. Um, one con about this wig and the holes on the lace were very large. So that was a second con, <laughs> but it looks pretty good. Yeah, the holes are pretty large on this one. But here is the unit. It is very, very silky smooth and it does not tangle. And this is 18 inches. So here's the unit. Um, I did have to speed dry it with my blow dryer. I did not have a diffuser, but I just wanted to blow dry it just so I can go ahead and review it. Just showing you all the lace. You have to really, really, really pluck curly units in order for it to look natural. You have to like do plucking times two for it to look natural. Just showing you all the parting space. It has really good parting space down the middle, of course. You don't get that parting all the way ear to ear, but mainly concentrated in the middle of the head, you get the parting. So nice parting space. I am gonna just fill it in with my LA Colors um, powder foundation, just to kind of get the, the lace more to my skin tone, but this lace was super, super light. So just here's the hairline again. It's still kind of dense, um, but it's okay. You can't get these curly units like super, super, thinned out in the front and I don't want to do it too much and mess the lace up and mess it up so I'm just cutting the ear um, tabs off I tend to go a little bit higher than needed just to make it more comfortable but you definitely are going to need to cut these tabs off but I cut it pretty high I don't feel like I need the lace to go all the way down um, by my ear so just cutting cutting those tabs off So I did my best to try to um, separate some baby hairs. Um, so I'm just cutting the baby hair and I was trying to style it while the lace was still on, while the wig was on my wig head. But um, I see a lot of girls doing that. They style it on the wig head, but it just didn't work. I don't think I cut the um, baby hairs short enough, but I'm not sure. I'm not an expert, so I'm just uh, trying this out. But I did have to go in and customize, it, customize this wig even after this video because the lace wouldn't lay down very well. Um, but it's okay. I don't. I wouldn't say it's a beginner friendly wig, but it's all in all a really, really nice wig with a good curl pattern. So I'm just going in. I did wear a tan cap um, and I just slicked my edges back. So, um, you know, just an added protection. And I did just use one layer of the white got to be glue um, gel, but I did discover that it makes the lace very, very white and crusty. So I do recommend the clear gots to be gel um, for this unit. That's my Midstone Set and Spray hairspray. It has a really, really good hold. So I just added it on top of the one layer of the gots to be uh, gel, and then I'm going to lay it down. So 
So I'm just laying it down. I'm gonna grab my blow dryer on the cool setting and just try to um, blow dry it. Of course, you notice the lace is still on. So I'm just now cutting the lace. And like I said, this lace is super, super way too light for my skin tone, as you can see. But I'm just showing it, showing you guys the technique. I kind of like snip the lace, like snip, snip. But it seems like the middle is okay right there, as you can see, it kind of blends. But the sides were just not going the way I wanted it to go because the lace is just super light. Even if this was a brown lace, I think it would have been better. Um, but I'm just going in with my alcohol and just kind of rubbing off the excess product and I'm trying to lay my baby hairs here. It looks pretty good. It's just the lace is way too light. So this is some mousse from Dollar Tree. I know you ladies have used this. This is some really, really good mousse. Dollar Tree has some really good mousse. Um, so I'm just putting it all over the hair and going to brush it through. So I did use some Lotta Body uh, Coconut. Um, it's like some kind of like uh, moisturizer. I love the way the stuff smells and it keeps your hair soft and it defines the curls without it being crunchy. So I did kind of try to do the like the slick back look on this wig, um, but I ended up just air drying it and just wearing it puffy. So I'm just cutting my little side pieces here, just bringing down the hair on the sides. And this is the finished product. You guys let me know what you think and definitely stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cutie Pie 88. I'm coming to you guys with a wig review this one is from an amazon seller um you know me i'm just gonna jump right into it so this video um excuse me this wig was sent to me it's by sunbur hair <laughs> i hope i'm saying that right sunbur hair and like i said this is an amazon seller um i did get this the unit one day shipping um with no, excuse me. Yeah, one day shipping with Amazon Prime. So that's a good thing about these Amazon sellers. You get your wigs quick. There's no waiting three to five days, five to seven days. Um, great shipping. So if you don't have Prime, I definitely recommend getting it so you can get your wig units one day or same day shipping if it's available. So um, so this is a Sunbur lace front wig. It is an 18 inch um, deep wave wig it's more like curly but i believe it's listed as deep wave um but yeah this is how the box look looks and it just came with a cap and some eyelashes so it's like a tan cap and then some eyelashes which i didn't use i already had a tan cap um i did not use a cap with this wig though and i will go into why but yeah there is the box and let me just get right into the pros and cons of this unit. Um, the cons is that it's not beginner friendly. Um, it's definitely not a beginner wig. You cannot, well, I'm gonna say you, I'm, I'm not gonna say you can't put it on and go, um, but it's gonna need some customizing just depending on your level of comfort and like, um, you know, how you want to wear your wig. So you can just get up and go, but, um, this one is not really beginner friendly in my opinion. Number two, the lace on this unit was super, super light, y'all. Um, I have some hair stuck to my lip. But yeah, the lace on this unit, this is the second con. The lace on this unit is super, super light. So I don't know if it's supposed to be an invisible lace um, wig, not invisible, transparent lace wig, but it is light. So it did take a lot of like powder foundation to try to get it to my skin tone, but I have a very weird skin tone. It's like in between some colors, I don't know, undertones and all that stuff. So even the powder and the foundation that I had, it still was not perfectly matched. So 
I really wanted to wear this wig like, you know, like the slick back, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that slick back look and it looks really natural. But y'all, this, this lace was so light. So, so, so light. And the holes on the lace were really big. That's the third con. The holes on the lace are really, really big and really noticeable. And you know what I mean by the little holes, the holes in the actual lace, the net part, they're really, really large. So that was another con. Um, it, it just doesn't blend right when those holes are so large. You can really, really see the obvious like holes in lace. So that was another con, but I feel like that was the only three, the big holes in the lace, um, the, the color, what the lace color was way too light and it is not very beginner friendly. Um, but the pros, I mean, it's a beautiful wig. I love, love, love the curl pattern. It is really beautiful. So this one is kind of like how it will look with some product mousse. Like this is, oh my gosh, it's very pretty. But this part, I kind of combed it out with my hands. And when I tell y'all, this wig does not tangle. It's like butter when you, like, when I was co-washing it, when I was brushing it through, oh my gosh, it was so silky smooth. No tangles anywhere. It did not have a weird smell to it. Um, it's beautiful. Oh, and I didn't and I didn't mention that it is an 18 inch. This is an 18 inches. So I feel like it's to the length. I do feel like this is 18 inches, especially stretched out. Shoot, it may be 18 inches, not stretched out. But I love the curl pet like juicy curls i just love 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 and it is more like a deep wave it's not like ringlet curls but it is a gorgeous unit um i think the cap size is on the medium to small side i wouldn't say medium to large medium to small i did use the adjustable straps in the back i did use a middle comb at the at the the back of the lace that's like in the middle the two side combs and the comb in the back. Um, I did use all three. I feel like that's what makes it more secure for me. A lot of women don't use the combs because they feel like it can snatch your um, edges out. But I, I'm sure to kind of put the combs where a braid is because all my hair is corn rolled back. I don't put the comb right there on the edge. I put it like, tuck it under underneath a braid to get um, less breakage. I did not put a cap on because I did over bleach the knots. I actually forgot about my bleach. I left the bleach on there for like 25 minutes and I'm like, oh my God. But, um, so the lace is just a little bit bronze. So I didn't need a cap underneath to make it any lighter. <laughs> but I mean, from here it looks good, but if I was to get really close, you can see like the bronziness. But I did touch it up with some um, black mascara. But I wanted to show you guys what I washed the hair with. Um, this swage, Suave Natural Shea Butter and Pure Coconut Oil Sulfate Free Shampoo. I got this from like Family Dollar for like five bucks or less. It is really good. It's sulfate free, so it doesn't get super, super bubbly and like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't foam up a lot, um, but it, it works really well. It gently cleanses and it's like moisturizing as well. Very, very good. And as far as conditioning, I just use some cheap um, VO5 uh, passion fruit smoothie conditioner. I literally found this at Dollar Tree, you guys. And as well as I use mousse from Dollar Tree as well. And it works just as well. It works very good, especially that mousse and the black and turquoise bottle works very, very well um, to lay your baby hairs. But um, I tried the best as I could to record uh, me, you know, doing the process, the bleaching and the plucking and everything like that. It's really, really hard doing that, guys, <laughs> trying to set up the camera. But I hope you guys like this unit. I think it's definitely worth checking out. You are going to have to customize it though. You're going to have to customize it if you want a certain look. If you don't really care about like the edges and the baby hair and stuff it being too thick in the front, you don't have to customize it. But another pro though, it really wasn't that thick around the hairline area. It really wasn't that thick to begin with. When I put mousse on it, it looked really, really good. However, it was not pre-plucked pre -plucked, and it was not pre-bleached knots. It was not pre-plucked, but the hairline looked really, really good. After I bleached it, it even looked better, but I still felt like I wanted to pluck it a little bit. But I mean, I did cut the lace to kind of match my ear 
and I do have a tip I don't feel like the lace should go all the way down here I know a lot of ladies use like the ear tab and like the flap of the lace all and never lays down over here um, I think like your skin moves a lot on this part like when you smile and when you talk so it like flips up on each side so I cut my lace a little higher I cut it like about here I think the lace stops like here and then I get a little hair from the wig and kind of pull it down. I don't I don't make my lace go all the way down. Um, I feel like it's unnecessary, but depending on your style. If you're going to wear it completely swoop back behind your ear, you may need that lace to lay there. But a lot of people aren't going to see it. So I cut mine a little bit higher. But you can like put it in a ponytail. It's definitely laid down. Now I did use the yellow bottle of the Got To Be Glued. I did want this to be a glueless unit, but I just used a little bit of gel. And I don't know if using gel is still glueless. I don't know, but I consider it not glueless if you if you use um, any type of product to help it lay down. But as you can see, it looks really good. Um, like I said, I did pluck it and I did um, use mousse, but it's really, really pretty. You can do like a flip over method. The parting space is really really well see I need to fill in that like that's my bad that was my bad but I love it it's really really gorgeous it is a gorgeous unit like comment if you agree if this unit is nice as you can see this hair can really get big if you want it to but then again it can really really lay down if you want it to as well um, but I think I may do like a half up half down something with this one it's really cute but it's not a full lace wig it's not um it's a frontal but the longest part the longest part of the lace is in the middle and then it kind of it kind of goes like this and it goes down and you have about like two inches of lace two inches of lace right here and then it goes back so like six inches here but um like i said like comment subscribe if you like this wig um let me know what you think this hair is gorgeous. I do give it two thumbs up. Um, if you're not a beginner, if you know kind of kind of what you're doing, like an intermediate, intermediate, um, not an expert, but not a beginner, this wig is like good for you. But like I said, if you are a beginner, you can definitely wear it. If you don't want to customize it, it's fine. It'll still be a beautiful, beautiful unit. Just look at these curls. But um, thanks for watching. Definitely check out my Instagram page, you guys. I do have a dedicated hair page on Instagram. It's cutiepie underscore hair. Cutiepie underscore hair. Be sure to follow me and just stay tuned for any updates and future videos, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Bye.